Hello everyone, I am Abriti from How to Electronics. In some random advertisement, you might have seen the Reason app which counts the object just using the phone camera. The app looks interesting and attempts to count the detected object of the same kind. In today's video, we are going to do the same thing. We will design an industrial product counter using ESP32 CAP module and OpenCV. The detection is done through the Python code at the server and this server here means our computer. So for this, we will use some OpenCV libraries. The objects are detected using the basic principle of comparing the color of the background with respect to the object's color. For example, if the background is white and the object is also white, then it won't be detecting any object. But if the background is white and the object is of different color, then surely it detects the object. Here we have used ESP32 cam module which is a small camera module with ESP32S chip that cost approximately $10. In this tutorial, we will go through its features, pins description and the method to program this device using FTDI module. Apart from this, we will also install Python and its required libraries. Later, we go through the Python code for industrial product counter with ESP32 CAM. This is an essential tutorial as you will be able to use any sort of image processing or machine learning on live video without having to write it on Arduino IDE. So without getting any delay, let's get started. The PCV board used in this project is sponsored by NextPCV. NextPCV offers totally free PCV prototypes which means you can get 10 PCVs of 1 to 4 years without any cost. There is no PCV cost or shipping fee. You can upload the Garber file directly and fill in the PCV details like quantity, color, and thickness. Then select your country for shipment and place an order. It's totally for free. And there is an exciting offer for new registers as you can get $100 coupon if you sign up using the link in the description. Welcome back again. This is an ESP32 based camera module developed by AI Thinker. The controller is based on 32-bit CPU and has a combined Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth or BLE chip. This has the OV2640 camera module for photography and video streaming. The board supports an SD card of up to 4 GB, and this SD card stores capture images and videos for image processing application. Let's move to the project part now. This project uses a code from an ESP32 CAMP library created by your Sunny. This library supports ESP32 CAMP and OV2640 camera. You can download the GIF file and add it to the Arduino IDE using library manager. Now open your Arduino IDE and from examples open a file called Wi-Fi CAMP. In this example, you just need to change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. The code is the same as for the previous projects. And to upload this code, select the ESP32 Rover module from board list. Also select the COM port, then click on upload button to upload the code. Open the serial monitor once code uploading is done. Then remove the shortening jumper and press the reset button. If everything is fine, then you will see the camera OK message on serial monitor. And the local IP address of the camera will also be printed. Now go to your web browser and download the Python latest version. Python is required here because the machine learning and image processing part is done by Python libraries. After the Python gets downloaded, complete the installation process. Now we need to install two Python libraries on our operating system, that is NumPy and OpenCV libraries. Follow the website article of How to Electronics to install the required Python libraries. Copy the following code and paste it on any Python editor. Copy the IP address from serial monitor of Arduino IDE and replace this IP address in the Python editor code. Let me explain how this entire system works. To detect the object, the Python code uses a step-by-step -step method of image or frame conversion. At first, it tries to convert the RCV image to grayscale such that the difference in magnitude of color is greatly visible and mathematical operations can be performed easily. After that, to blend in the color, we blur the image. Now the canny edge detection takes place where it easily detects the edges. To properly join the edge detected, we dilate the image and in the end, we retrieve the number of closed figures. Now go to run and then click on run module option. Once you hit run for the first time, it will install a few files if they are not existed. Once we have done that, we can see two windows named 
live transmission and MIT counter is visible. In this video, I have tried to count playing cards. The counted object is displayed on Python monitor. And here I used 6 playing cards and placed them in front of ESP32 camp. You can see here the monitor displayed 6 cards. In another test, I have counted coins. And here again I have counted paint leads. So every time I am able to detect all the objects successfully with the correct counting. This is how you can design your own industrial product counter using ESP32CAMP and OpenCV. All the information related to this project including the source code can be found in the How to Electronics article. If there is anything that you would like to ask, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.